Well, if you were looking to compare the Snapdragon 680 with the Helio G96, you have landed on the right video. Today we are going to compare the Snapdragon 680 and Helio G96 to compare these two and get the real answer. Which phone should you get if you get these two processors as a choice? And I will be dividing it into benchmarks and all the other aspects that you might want to know about in a processor. So starting from the benchmarks and 2 to V9 scores, the Snapdragon scores about 264K on the N2 to V9 and the Helio G96 scores about 328K respectively. Now starting from the benchmarks, there is a clear winner which is the Helio G96 and now we can jump on to the Geekbench scores which are also pretty similar with the multi core score of 1545, the Snapdragon is behind here as well and the single core score is much better on the Snapdragon which is not surprising considering the history. Coming to the CPU, we are going to compare the clock speeds of these two CPUs and the core count. They both are octa-core processors with Snapdragon using 4 cores with 2.4 GHz and 4 cores using 1.8. On the other hand, the Helio uses 6 cores as 2 GHz and 2 cores as 2.85, which is not really high but it translates to real-world usage in terms of day-to-day -day usage up using apps and here comes the GPU. The GPU used in the Snapdragon is Adreno 610 and it uses a CPU frequency of 600 MHz with shading units 96. On the other hand the Helio one uses the Mali G57 MC2 and it is clocked at 950 MHz with 32 shading units. So GPU wise I think the Snapdragon is much much better. Now comparing the RAM support on both these processors, the Helio G96 supports a higher bandwidth of RAM and also it supports more maximum RAM size which is 10 gigs but I don't think that any smartphone vendor or company actually implements 10 gigs of RAM in a smartphone as it's a very odd number but the Helio G96 wins it and now comparing the ISP where once again the Helio G96 wins by flying colors by supporting a maximum camera resolution of 108 megapixels compared to the 64 megapixel of maximum support from the Snapdragon and also it can support higher video recording resolution which is 2K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. The modem is a lot better on the Snapdragon 1 and it always has been this case. So the Snapdragon supports up to 390 megabits per second of download speed and up to 150 megabits per second of upload speeds. The Bluetooth connectivity is 5.2 technology on the Helio G96 but it's not much of a difference to call it a tie so I'm giving this one to Snapdragon. Do let me know which one would you pick but if it were to me I would have picked the Helio G96 because it performs a tad bit better in terms of day to day usage and I've used these phones with Snapdragon 680 particularly the Redmi Note 11 and it really doesn't hold up for me. So that was it for the video hope you guys liked it make sure to subscribe for more videos like this this is Arrays and I'm signing out peace.